What's up guys, Sridis here. Now I was gonna give you all a quick little uh, rundown on how you would test your reverse lights or fix your reverse lights on a 1972 Chevy K10. Specifically, the four speed transmission because uh, automatics are gonna be a little different. So, got this truck. The girlfriend said the reverse lights work. I didn't check for them myself, but she said they worked. And of course, when I go get it safetyed, they don't work, so I gotta fix it. That's just reflectors for my iPhone light. Still on the iPhone, cause well, I don't have my nice camera set up yet, but eventually y'all will get a nicer little setup. So first things first, check your bulbs. Uh, if your bulbs are okay, probably check your fuses. Your fuses are up there, those old fashioned fuses. I'm not sure which one it is, but check your fuses, your bulbs, if those are good, you're gonna wanna come down here and check this. This is your reverse switch. It's on top of your four speed transmission. Easy to get to if you remove this. Now, this is the wire that plugs into it. So first thing you're gonna wanna check is, is this wire getting power? This dark green wire is the hot wire. And then this one is, I believe, the wire that goes to like your tail lights. So this will determine, this check, this area will determine if, you know, the wiring is bad on this side or if the wiring is bad towards the back of the truck, or if that switch is bad. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take your multimeter, if you have one, if you don't have one, I suggest getting one. This is the one I had when I was in avionics, and I love this tool, this is my favorite tool. I'm glad I brought it from Texas. You're gonna to wanna to plug the uh, red probe, doesn't really matter, but red probe on the top for the dark green, and then your black probe into the bottom for the light green. You do this with like a little test light too. So now we got that set up. Okay, we got our meter set up. Now let's go ahead and turn the car on. And this should let us know if we're getting voltage to the switch basically. If that wiring on that end is okay. So boom, we got 12 volts. So we know we know this wiring up into this area is good. We know we're getting 12 volts to the switch. So now we need to know if the problem is either the switch or the wiring to the back of the truck. Now, to test that, let's go ahead and plug this. The easiest way is to get a little jumper cable. Piece of wire and to go ahead and just skip past the uh, reverse switch. What we do is we plug this in to the top one, plug this in the bottom one, it doesn't matter which way. So now we got the circuit completed. We're bypassing the switch and the transmission because the switch and the transmission is basically like a switch in your house. Circuit's completed, sends power to your reverse lights. So we're bypassing that and directly connecting the circuit. So let's go ahead and turn the car on to the left. And let's go check see if the reverse lights are on. And boom, we got reverse lights. Both sides. So we know that means the wiring to that switch on the truck is okay. So now we know it's basically, we narrow it down to the reverse switch on top of the transmission being the problem. So I'll show you guys how to take, to test that here in a second. You can take it out, just seven eighths wrench or ratchet, but I'll show you guys how to kind of confirm that that's the problem. All right, so we know it's a reverse switch and you just want to be sure. So I'll show you guys how to test this. So I got the old reverse switch here and the new one. The new one looks a little different. Hopefully it'll still work. I haven't tested it yet. So I want to test to see if it's uh, actually bad. Now, again, this is just like a switch. This plunger goes in and it closes the circuit, sends power to reverse lights. I have my multimeter in this mode, which is checks your continuity, which checks for basically a break there. So if I were to push this plunger down, it should complete the circuit and my meter should beep. So I have my wires or my probes in there. I'm gonna try and push this down carefully so the probes don't touch. Pushing pretty hard, nothing. So let me go ahead and switch to the new one. Doesn't matter which ones you put these in. Just as long as your little meters don't touch or else you'll get kind of a false reading. Your little probes don't touch. Okay, probes didn't touch. Still in continuity. Now watch when I press this plunger in. 
That fell out, but you heard it beep. There you go. That's how you test to see if this one's bad. All right, so we got the new one bolted in and plugged in. It's a little challenging to plug in because it's shaped like a T and just, just be careful not to bend anything. Body of that little plug is a little different than the old one. Uh, hopefully it should still work. I got the truck in reverse. So let's go ahead and test this out. Make sure you turn it to the left and not to the right. And they're working. There we go. Fix the reverse light, reverse light issue. Not too bad. Check it out. Nada. Put her back in reverse. Boom, reverse lights. Nice, it's awesome. Glad it was a nice easy fix versus like having to track down some wiring. So there you go, that's how you, uh, for the most part, you're gonna test and fix your reverse lights. If it was uh, no power to that switch, well, probably got a break somewhere in the wire up ahead, somewhere up in here, but for the most part, there you go. Hope this helps somebody, and I will see you guys in the next one.